I chose to study geology at Derby because it, it's well renowned and it's well known and of course because of its geographic location, the Peak District is right next door to you know, some amazing geology and obviously the course is very hands-on based so you learn a lot of speci specialist skills in the field. I chose the University of Derby because I wanted to do the study abroad course which was six months in Canada. And the reason I came to Derby Uni was it had one of the highest percentage of students being able to get into a job afterwards. They seemed to really push into, an, into that. I just found Derby to be a much nicer place than a lot of the other universities because I think it's a newer university, so it's less stuck in its ways. Well, what's special about it for me is just um, the stuff that work there. There's an amazing, you know, renowned geologist who work there. They actually go through with you step by step and they're always on hand to help. You can email them or go and see them anytime. They'll always take you through and make sure you have a thorough grounding of what you want to do. It's a lovely, friendly environment to work in. Everybody helps each other. There's a great geology department and all the lecturers are always willing to help you all the time. Even if it's something blatantly obvious that you should know, they'll sit down, they'll go through it with you and then it's like, oh yeah, it's just clicked. If you've got a problem with something, then they're all easy to talk to about things. They're always wanting you to email them or ask them anything, really. So. Knowing that there's always a lecturer about to ask if you ever get stuck. It's just a nice university to go to. All the different branches are open to you. If you want to study Ignis Petrology, we've got the lectures, we've got you know, basic facilities. If we wanted to study paleontology, we've got, you know, electron microscopes and things, so you can study microfossils and that. And of course if you want a math, and there's obviously a big industry base as well, so if you want to do more applied geology, we're open to that as well. So. Well, the course is structured, um, you have three years, um, and each year you have eight modules, and each module um, you have to pass to pass the year. Um, a lot of the modules are split into like two sections, so for the first couple of hours you'll be writing notes and listening to the lecturer, whereas in the last bit of the lesson we'll be actually looking at the specimens and writing descriptions and fin sections. So that makes it a lot easier to um, understand what the lecturers are saying in the first part, to actually see them in the flesh. If you want to spend time in the field doing, doing geology, doing what geologists do, then, then come to Dob. They love to send you out places to take a look and to investigate. We're in the middle of Anglesey, you know, looking at a beautiful outcrop uh, filled with structures and they talk about all these diagrams and you see them on little hand sheets and where you can actually see it close up in the field. It's amazing because you can relate it. The field work element of it is fantastic. It's all hands on. Everything we learn is here. The lecturers bring us up and train us and teach us all the skills. I think there's only so much you can learn about metamorphic rocks in the classroom you really have to come out here and see what they are and what there is to find in order to be able to interpret them. It, you know, one thing to be told this is how they fold nice and neat in the lab and then coming out here and you find out all the extra, well actually it's not quite this perfect all of the time. You do so many varieties of trips um, and see so many different types of things you get to go wonderful places like Andalusia in Spain, here in Anglesey, to totally different environments, but everything relates to each other and all the trips are poignant to the courses. All of the trips have been good fun. The Snowdon one was an experience, probably not a fun one, but it was definitely an initiation test, I think, being on top of a mountain and having the rain chuck on you and saying, you're not going home until you understand this. You sat in a classroom most of the time and you're looking at lumps of rock and fin sections but it's not until you actually get out there and it's like, oh wow, that's a big volcano. It's a bit more, it makes you, you can't understand you it more, yeah. About. There's an independent mapping project in NDU one, uh, the Ingleton mapping project. It is perhaps the steepest learning curve I've ever had in my life. It's absolutely phenomenal. It's, uh, we have a, a couple of months of uh, tuition before we were sent out and a couple of days of field tuition once we were there in um, this location. But you're basically given six square kilometres to map and send out on your way to uh, map out boundaries between the rocks and geomorphological features. 
looking back on it, it really was a fantastic learning experience. We learned so much and it was definitely worth it. I, I came back knowing 200 times more than I did when I left. So that's what I really enjoy about Derby, the field work and the fact that they're so passionate about it.